You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Most people kind of punch out a reality because it's too hardcore. Not me. I love it. I love the animating contest of liberty. I love being in the arena. I love not being a spectator. And life is epic. Tomorrow, I'll be live with David Knight, co-hosting. And we're going to, unless there's a huge event, which I'm sure there probably will be, the way stuff works these days, um, be covering news, but talk about what's epic about life, what's positive, what's worth defending, what's good about humanity, who your heroes are. I want to talk about, you know, empowering the human spirit. The globalists are all about suppressing it. I'm not negative when I bring up all this bad news. I want to fix it. Let's go to your phone calls right now. Mark in Oregon, thanks for holding her on the air. Hi, Alex. Hi, David. Actually, Alex, you had mentioned a handful of aces that we've got. Uh, I really just see one ace in our hand, and that is the people. Uh, there's a lot of uh, construction that's already been completed as far as informing those who will listen over the years. You've pretty much been at the head of that, Alex. I would say that we only have one ace. It's an ace of spades that can't fail, and that is simply that we take it out into the public. While we've been talking, you've been talking to us, others have, other broadcasters, we've been talking to others, they've been walking, and they're making a whole lot of progress, and it's time for the talking to stop as far as the private quarters go of the broadcast ways. Need to get out there in public, need to get out and have what I call seminar days, and combine it with a recall petition effort, which would certainly I agree. With, Boehner, uh, Boehner should be recalled. He should be removed as speaker. But but if but if they're too cowardly to do it, we need to start recalling him in his home state. Absolutely. The NRA yeah. needs to do what Bloomberg. Bloomberg spent hundreds of millions of dollars just the last few years. Hundreds of millions getting matching funds from Bill Gates and others and Warren Buffett on record to go and try to unseat good sheriffs and good members of legislatures and members of Congress. Where is the NRA? They need to give. Twenty million dollars. I mean, if they asked for it, they'd get it right now from their from their five million members or whatever it is. You know, ask for five dollars from each one of them. They'd have the money they need to go give twenty million dollars for a recall of Boehner and remove him. Remove that piece of trash. That's a great point. Thanks for the call. Let's get David Knight's take on that. Absolutely, Alex. I think it needs to be shut down from the outside. I think Washington is too corrupt. One of the best ways to do it is to call him back from the state level. We've seen that happen when they've passed uh, regulations out west. We see the uh, gun control regulations. We had uh, uh, legislators that were recalled out in, um, what was it, Colorado, I believe it was. California but I think recalled uh, Governor Davis. I mean, he was nothing compared to Boehner and the Republicans now. I mean, hardcore commies are yeah. nothing compared to these people. Oh, absolutely. I, I still think what we need to do is we need to use state nullification. We need to use jury nullification. People un need to understand the legal constitutional framework for that. They say that they uh, are swearing allegiance to the Constitution. Let's let them prove it. Let's exercise the rights that we publicly have under state nullification and jury nullification to shut this thing down. And I see it happening. I see it happening with uh, the marijuana uh, legislation that we see popping up in different states. And there's been proposals at state level that uh, they should be able to allow, uh, they, they should be able to uh, manufacture firearms as well as ammunition within a state and that the federal government Absolutely. would not have any authority over that if it didn't cross state lines. That is how the Constitution was set up. We should assert that authority. We should make our own ammunition. If they're going to ban the ammunition, make ammunition inside Texas for Texans. Well, that's the way to do it, is innovation uh, is what will defeat these people, making art, making culture. They have a dead culture. The globalists are a corporate Borg. If we simply promote our culture side by side with theirs, people will vote for our culture, just like the organics, the true hippie, true liberal movement, the good parts of it, understand states' rights. They've used it to get a Trump card on organics, to get a Trump card on marijuana. Uh, and it has a dark side, folks, but it's not a federal issue. And it's the people's right to do that. So now the left can't argue against us on internal currency, silver currency, state banks, uh, Second Amendment, our own ammo. That's the way. We'll be right back.
cells become toxic, they die early, and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the Synergistic Solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality, specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. Used since before the days of the Roman Empire to support the body's natural systems and enhance overall health. Introducing the new InfoWarsLife.com Oil of Oregano Formulation, a highly advanced nutraceutical form of this key herb that has been traditionally used by civilizations for thousands of years to promote health. We have now procured the most high quality and potent forms of oregano oil on the market. Sourced from top leading manufacturers to ensure a concentrated level of bioactive ingredients extracted directly from the wild herb and sealed in easy to use capsules you will no longer need to endure the burning of liquid oregano on the tongue wild crafted from the mediterranean oregano species that experts agree is one of the most powerful and most challenging to acquire this winter season it's more important than ever to secure this true form of oil of oregano now available in our limited first run at infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-888-253-3139. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight in Austin, and joining us on the road is Alex Jones. And you know, Alex, we talked about this article is up on Drudge about them implanting memories and demise successfully. I think it's a great analogy for what's going on in the info war. One of the things that they point out, they said they've been able to do subconscious association while animals were sleeping in the past. This is the first time they've been able to plant a conscious memory into people. But think about how easy it is for them to do it to humans when we're asleep, when we're just passively accepting what they feed us in the news and the media and the television and the movies that we watch. They can build all kinds of passive associations and it's very easy for them. And that's to the London Guardian. Us. Sorry? And the stories in the London Guardian today from folks yes. that just joined us. And then you've got the attorney general saying, let's brainwash the public against guns. And we wonder why there's subliminals against Alex Jones, Infowars, Drudge. I mean, we've shown people where we catch them with half second long stuff that says Ron Paul is a, is a meth head, uh, you know, on Breaking Bad. Or Alex Jones is a kook that thinks, you know, they're building, you know, Elvis or, or, or Michael Jackson is at the space station. This is what they're doing, and folks, that's 101 subliminal programming. This is a all-out war, and the war has put people into a trance. They found in major studies that the average person watches about five hours of TV um, above the age of 40 or so. People can pull these articles up. Speaking of that, it's in The Guardian. Uh, but people below that are watching up to 10 hours a day of some form of media or screen time. 
This is this is literally brain damaging the public, screwing up kids. Hundreds of pediatrics organizations and studies have come out saying, don't give your kids an iPad or iPod or Droid, period, period, ladies and gentlemen. And then, of course, before he died, uh, they asked uh, Steve Jobs, hey, do you give your kids iPads? And he said, absolutely not, never. <clears throat> so they know what they're doing. And then Google Alzheimer's TV viewing. And it's, they've known for 30 years neurological disorders are linked to watching TV. They can flash strobe lights. In fact, it's well known at raves uh, that will put people into a trance without being on drugs. That's how widespread this technology is. And I was just talking to a lady the other day who went to a rock concert, never had epilepsy, and they flashed the lights a certain way and a bunch of people, not just her, basically fell out having convulsions. Well, it's well known you can put a computer program if you have the right light bank to make a certain number of percentage of people go into convulsions or into a mesmerized state where you can then program them if it's coming out of a television set with a carrier wave or messages directly to the subconscious that cannot be blocked. So we have these hypnotic triggers. And this isn't me, folks. This is taught at the University of Texas Psychology Department 15 years ago. I was allowed in there and stuff and saw some secret DARPA stuff, or let's just say restricted. But that part wasn't even secret. This is what's taught 101. This is what's going on 101. This is the scientific takeover where everything is about dominating, engaging, and controlling humanity. And it's just being rolled out now to control everyone. Remember, must have been 20-something years ago, Thousands of children in Japan, thousands in the U.S. went into convulsions when Pokemon, when the eyes flashed. That's because they know the carrier wave. They're doing these as mass tests, ladies and gentlemen. We're not in Kansas anymore, and we know they're putting in vaccines with the troops. I'd cover this 10 years ago. I covered it six years ago in videos like Brain Eating Vaccines. People didn't believe me, even when it was in the literature. Now it's like, oh, we're giving the troops shots that don't make them be upset anymore. And, oh, then a lot of them commit suicide later. They say it's like they're not alive anymore, but they're not in pain anymore either. The vaccines go in and eat the receptors in the area of your brain associated with spiritual consciousness, higher brain waves. We are living in a science fiction movie, but we're not on the black hole spaceship with Maximilian Shell and the robots weren't good enough for him. So he uh, digitally with electricity lobotomizes with electroshock the crew to be his slaves. They're already way past you know, Disney movies like The Black Hole, folks, they don't need to do that. They can give you a shot. You'll still go to work. You'll do what you're told. You'll still be partially there, but the spiritual connection is severed, at least partially. I mean, it's already going on. It's already happening. And that's why I freak out. This is a normal response to someone who's not been put under a trance. I mean, people 100 years ago would act 10 times crazier than me if somebody tried to do something to their kids. If Jocelyn Elders got up 20 years ago and said, we're going to teach the little kids how to reach down and touch themselves and masturbate, it's a good thing. People would have flipped. Why are we so comfortable? Because with chemicals and drugs and flashing lights and subliminals and culture and our own laziness, they have put us into a trance. Break the trance. And I'm telling you, folks. Prayer has shown to take you, even if you're an atheist, to a higher level of consciousness. I'm telling you, if even if you're an atheist, if you just pray to Jesus Christ to break your conditioning, to unlock your mind and your soul, and just invite Christ in because it's a free will universe and say, Christ, if you're real, come into my life, free my mind of this conditioning. Even if you don't believe that Christ is real, but that you're going to a higher level of your mind, I don't believe that's what's happening. At one level, it's there, but then God connects to that. If you just ask Christ to come into your heart, come into your soul, and show you the truth and empower you and open your mind, I'm telling you, if you say that with free will, God will, will give you a choice. But when the Holy Spirit, folks, comes to you and starts showing you this stuff, if you say, okay, God, I know you're real and I don't want you, that is the ultimate sin to reject the Spirit of Christ, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm just telling you it's real. If you want discernment, if you want real power, Christ is ready to give it to you, but you will then be under Christ's control. Doesn't mean my flesh isn't evil, doesn't mean I don't do bad things, but in my heart, in my soul, in my my conscience, when I when I'm